All right, all right. I've, I know about all the stuff I missed now, so let's go do that. In fact, I've already cleared out this entire path so that I can get there very easily. Well, okay, maybe I'm not going to get everything, but I am at least going to get the axe for right now. Just because that is here. Well, anyway, I guess that's where you would learn about uh, Juzo, but it doesn't really matter. Because they're done. And... No, there's nobody else here. I've killed uh, pretty much everybody. And this guy definitely isn't going to be uh, any more difficult right now. Now, there is also the Pagoda, which I'm fairly certain if I look over in this direction here, you can see. Like, it's somewhere up along that type of mountain, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But there's no easy way to get to that. You had that uh, thief earlier mentioning it as a place where there's treasure, but I, I'm going to leave it for right now. Axe, I think, is going to be the most important thing, and then get back to fighting old Blazing Bull. And there we go. <laughs> yes, I was really not seeing this when I was initially going through it. I had to have people pretty much tell me exactly where to go to figure it out. And anything else around here before I call it a day in the Harada state? No, looks like I'm good. All right. The other thing that I got was a couple I saw that <laughs> the other thing I got was a couple uh, other items from like a little tiny secretive area near the bamboo forest where I got a bunch of these Gokan sugars and something else that I already forgot oh yeah a big thing of coins that's right this thing not really worth seeing but there were a couple monks there wielding spears that's pretty much about it all right, now, before I get back to fighting the bull, there is actually one more thing I need to do. I almost forgot here. People told me to look around Gyobu's arena, and I do think I know what they're talking about. Maybe the first merchant of the game, so I can finally start to buy things. For example, maybe the snap peas that I had been so sorely missing out on. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> Big old staircase. Completely ran right past it. Which, do you expect anything less from me? Yeah, like the snap piece probably would have been very good because, you know, fancy. They do take out that big secondary phase in Butterfly's fight where she summons a bunch of phantom dudes. The snap peas take those out immediately, which is kind of what you're supposed to be using them for. But I didn't. Well, first off. Cool. Shortcut, I'm assuming, because I saw this I saw this thing a while back, right before uh, fighting Gyobu. At least I'm pretty sure this is the same thing, right? Mean that good shortcut porn? Yep, this is the one. Alright, now who are you? Nezuminga Moi. いや、その目。植えた狼か。切る前に名を聞いてやる。名乗り。わしに名乗る名などないか。忍びは大概そうじゃ。名乗らず死におる。じゃが、その左腕、忍び騎士とは懐かしい。なるほど。石腕の狼か。気に入ったぞ。ならば、石炉、お主をそう呼ぼう。お前は何だ。<笑> 
わしはアシナの天狗よ。王赤炉。お主もネズミ狩りをせぬか。なんだとこのアシナにはネズミが入り込んでおる。うじゃうじゃとわが物顔でな。ネズミもいろいろじゃが、それを片端から切り捨てるのよ。どうやらお主にも一切りの才がある。その才を磨くのに役立とう。どうじゃ、セキロ。ネズミ狩りをせぬか。Yeah, right. 承知した。よし、セキロよ。ならばこれをくれてやる。<笑>ネズミの顔それと巣穴じゃ切ってまいれさすればお主の戦に役立つものをやろう Hey they did it they said the name of the game <laughs> Alright well、uh, I guess I got a side quest here Anything else? 切ってまいれ、like, さすれば<laughs> お主の戦に役立つものをやろう Okay well Not quite what I was expecting, but sure, I guess I'll go do that at some point in time. Probably not right now. I feel like I want to make a little bit of progress with the game after all these side areas and everything. Hmm? What you got? Why would I want to do this now? Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. No, it doesn't really look like there's anything up here. All right. And since I do now know that there are, there, there is, in fact, fall damage, let's kind of do this with a little bit of care. Oh, now that works too. I, mean, I think there was also one other thing, not this direction, the other direction, that I want to check out. That seemed to be somebody. A merchant? Perhaps. Somebody else that I might have to kill this time? Maybe. So, what's your deal? Gokuyo, <laughs> ずいぶんと殺しておるな。ご供養していきなされよ。Okay, cool. だだだ。slightly increased resurrective power. Okay. Interesting, interesting. All inflicted with dragon rot will be healed. Ooh, now that might actually be useful. I'm going to assume that I can only buy so many of these things <laughs> from this guy. I don't really know exactly how the dragon rot affecting NPCs is going to go eventually, but I suppose for right now. Oh, now that's really what I want to get. And also another prosthetic tool. Okay, well, this is definitely going to be something to. <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to remember that guy because those are some very useful things.
Yeah, that's it. Okay, not too bad when you actually get all of the, uh, when you actually get a decent amount of parries there. Man, though, those things, that thing is... Oh, cool. It's a latent skill. Yeah, I didn't actually read this when I beat the ogre. Is be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. <laughs> yeah. But cool, that's actually really useful. So, getting full heals now. How did they even see me? Oh, come on. Well, one of the useful skills that I did get in the meantime here was the ability to heal upon... Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Good. Was the ability to heal on, on getting uh, death blows or executions or whatever they're called. So that's actually going to help out quite a bit. Alright, great. And I guess just to make sure that I'm not going to be wasting this money, let's just throw it all in Spirit Emblems. I'm going to... I always use a lot of those, so... Ugh. It's never the... a bad investment. Hmm. And I want to say that's probably not where I want to be going. In the meantime, anybody else over here? Is this... Ooh, a shortcut? Would actually be quite nice. Uh, to where? I have no idea, but... Something. I guess it's nice to have just a little tiny brass snake hanging on the side of these wooden planks for no reason so I can grapple onto them. And the snake's right here. <laughs> no? Okay. I mean, this is just a new area entirely, I suppose. Well, I want to check out what else is around here first. First, before I do that. Nothing. Great. Well, that made my decision easy. Like, around here? I guess the wolf can swim, so, like, what's going on? I should remember that whole basic thing, you know. Jumping into water is not a death sentence, but there do, does tend to be deadly, deadly fish down here, so I have to be a little careful. Nothing. Well, maybe this is considered, like, multi-jumpable walls. No, it is not. This looks like I'm swimming around in the secret of views down here. What you got? Anything? What a worthwhile endeavor that was. Oh, come on. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like it's probably a bad idea to go this way, even though I probably could. So, what do we got out this gate here? Yeah. Got it. Oh, it's actually, this is just the floor. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, these look exactly like... Wait, what? Really? <laughs> okay, fine then. I was going to say they look exactly like those uh, pots from Dark Souls 2 that would cover you in the, the poison Harvest Valley, but a little bit more sturdy. Alright then, this is convenient. I guess it's for the sake of being able to know where you're going if, uh, to be able to know where you're going if you... この辺りに忍びが入り込んだそうじゃ。あ、
All right. Yeah, I'll keep a lookout for them. Uh, I probably don't want to fall down there. Just a hunch. A reservoir, eh? So I guess I could jump down there, but it does look like certain death. Probably not a great idea either. Well, actually, I could do this. Oh. <laughs> Some reservoir. Anywho. Yeah, this looks like certain death. So I will be avoiding that one. Oh, I was wondering what exactly the difference between, like, a full circle and a... Come on. Ah! <laughs> a full circle and, like, a triangle was. I guess it's that you're not actually landing on anything when you're using yon triangle. Come on. Okay, fine, anyway. You just probably do this anyway. Oh, it's one of those weird things. And... Still have no idea what those guys are, but... There they are. <laughs> oh, okay. Something to increase pinwheel. Or, to increase, um... Soul whatever. But also, blah, blah, pinwheels. This is probably a lot easier than, you know... Uh, is this where I started the game? This looks like where I started the game. <laughs> yeah, and that would have le led to the uh, Ganeshiro fight. Okay, so... I guess that's... Oh, great. I would explain the presence of these dudes. Stop rolling into the wall. That's ridiculous. Thankfully, they're all wearing these incredibly huge hats, which makes it very easy to find them. Okay, good, good. Scrap iron dug from their soils, anything but crude. Which will be very useful insofar as upgrading some of my items go. I think. My prosthetic whatevers. Alright, anything else? Nah. Let's go, then. I assume Ganeshiro's probably not still behind that door, but that would be amusing nonetheless. And fine, I guess we'll just go over here. And get back to actually fighting dudes, I suppose. Can't be helped. Shikata Ganai. <laughs> Maybe I can just, you know, just a little bit of, a little bit of jumping over here first. Look, Wolf, either grab onto that or jump above it or something. Don't do nothing. <laughs> okay, some dogs. Just hit him. What are you doing? Just hit him. Wolf, I swear to God, what is this? Those guys are going to be suspicious, but they're not actually going to know what's going on. Unless they're very diligent. Ooh, that's going to be an issue, though. Oh, okay, uh, I guess we are all on with this then. Or not. <laughs> Alright, so uh, don't grapple up to that point. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> A uh, simple instruction that I should be able to follow fairly easily. What if I just went over here? This happened to bring me much farther? Well, somebody saw me, but... Oh. Somebody important saw me, apparently. Alright, so if I take out that guy, this would actually probably be a... 
Eh, damn it. So if I take out that guy, this would probably actually be a safe place to go. There's tall grass and everything around here. And kind of a minimal amount of very powerful enemies to fight. Well, the guys with the guns are not going to be very happy to see me. Is that a gun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? No, it is a gun in my pocket. Come on! Fine, we'll do this then. Then I should be okay to grapple over here. Yeah. Definitely did not see that. Alright, anything else going on? We got some big ogre looking dudes down there. An item, but I think I can go without it for right now. Maybe when I feel like going... Yes, I'm well aware. I'm also well aware of that, too. This is standard Souls stuff, and as we have found out, this is... Uh, in some ways, a standard Souls game. I mean, it's uh, mostly based around having a super advanced uh, shielding system. You know, actually guarding... In an, in an extremely active way, but ultimately it is still very similar to how Souls has worked up until this point. In some ways, it's like, it's it's neat. It's neat to see it. Uh, they want to do something similar, but different. And I do appreciate that, if nothing else. Now, again, I would much rather have Rally, but that's just because I think Rally is one of the best game mechanics introduced in, like, the past ten years. People all... I mean, you know, it's a lot of criticism being that has been levied at... Oh, let's go down and look at those uh, terrible trees. <laughs> They're like two, two JPEGs intersecting each other. Anyway. A lot of criticism that has been levied at stuff like... Ooh, you look, oh, you look like that. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Now, the spear is scary. Oh, wow. Oof. This is going to be somewhat rough. Yep, no question. Uh, that's too bad. At least I know I can take out his first health bar pretty easily. うん。見かけの顔だが、伊豆子の組衆か。明かせぬ。明かせぬとな。うん。さては忍び衆でござるか。明かせぬ。これはご無礼を。Alright then, sure. Nice sword, by the way. And also, I won't jump down there just out of respect for whatever he was doing. <laughs> Which, I'm not gonna question. Oh, another mini boss. Interesting, but, uh. 
Should I? I mean, I kind of already have one that I'm going for right now. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yeah, that's me. Wow, what the hell is that? Wow, okay, that's... Alright, this dude's for real. Doesn't seem like it'll be too bad to take him out. It gives me uh, some real uh, Lady Butterfly vibes, though. This guy was tough. It took me like a good half hour or so to finally take him down, and that's even with uh, getting the initial death blow done there. Also, good use of the axe just to be able to get a little initial posture breaking. I think that if you get a death blow on a dude, that you can almost immediately follow it up with that to get a good head start on the next um, next phase here. Also, yeah, with a lot of the moves, what I've noticed is that pretty much you just want to dodge to the left. He's a, he's a real blood-starved beast type of character in that way. Mostly, I tried to go for a little bit of vitality damage first and then focused on the posture because he deals a lot of posture damage to you and you don't deal that to him. That, this move is actually great, because even if he breaks your posture, you can just dodge right to the left. It's it's a real foolproof type of idea. Uh, spears are still kind of the roughest type of enemy that I've come up against. Every single one of their attacks seems to take just a little bit longer than you'd think they should. It gets that timing pretty difficult. And also, again, like that fact that my posture was getting broken so much was not helping me. All right, there's one, and I actually did get the second prayer bead that I'm going to use to create my second necklace, but I forgot to record it. <laughs> the uh, long swordsman actually went down pretty quickly. I mean, I'm sure you can tell that uh, the dude takes a lot of posture damage and all of his attacks are very slow. So in recompense, here's that other mini boss right before the, well, right after the ogre area that I didn't actually go for before. And when you've been, uh, when you're, I guess, far enough in the game, enemies really do become pretty easy, even though you don't have traditional types of levels in this game. Still terrible at dodging sweep attacks, though. And bam! That was first try, first kill. <laughs> and that is four prayer beads now, with the, with the bull kill as well. So... Here's my second one, starting to get one real beefy shinobi. Alright, next time I finish up the Tengu quest, and I guess we'll see... Well, one of the two areas that I can go to now. Back in the Moonlight Tower, or back underground. Swim in that one area way back in the tutorial.